Knowing your blood pressure is as important as knowing the state of one's car before it hits the road for a long journey. Yet many Ugandans have not carried out tests to know their blood pressure. Blood pressure is the force of blood pushing against the walls of the arteries as the heart pumps blood. I only check when I'm pregnant, but when I'm not pregnant, I don't check. I've never. Why? I'm not yet taught about it anyway. Frederick William Chuazi, now a retired public servant, one time felt dizzy. He, however, did not know that he came close to suffering a stroke. Until he was given the news that he was to stay at the hospital for the next 30 days, he never knew his ailing state. I did not realize that I could be having a complication like that. That was my first time. So I told them, guys, you're actually delaying me. I'm going to Masaka. And the colleagues are waiting outside. They said, yes, sir. You cannot go. And in fact, you had better call your people at home and inform them that you are interned at AAR. For the last 10 years, Chiwazi has been able to bring the disease under control with the help of his wife. Uh, we are lucky for us. We are in a village. <laughs> we can walk into a plantation, pick a leaf or two, pick a root or two, kill it, and then you feel okay. Of course, on top of... Uh, drinking water, eating as required, avoiding things that will tense you up. So when he comes home, we try as much as possible to make him comfortable. And the types of foods that we prepare, especially in the morning, since he may not have lunch, we make sure that breakfast is a meal for all of us. High blood pressure is a serious condition that can lead to coronary heart disease, heart failure, stroke, kidney failure, and other health problems. So they don't cause pain. By the time you feel pain, it means you have developed complications. The nerves have been involved, or the kidney is involved, or you've gone blind because your, the, the, your, the retina is bleeding and it cannot capture light. So you're blind because of hypertension, because of diabetes, and you didn't even know you had it. According to a research conducted in Mokono and Buikwe districts from 2012 to 2014 by the Makere University School of Public Health in the Department of Disease and Control and the University of Antwerpan, the findings were alarming. Low-income countries focuses on communicable diseases, malaria, tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS. But somehow, so by slowly, chronic diseases are eating us up. Hypertension is on the rise. From this survey in, this, 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 in these two districts, we estimated actually the prevalence of hypertension to be 21.8%. That's quite huge, meaning that almost in every, uh, one in every five has got hypertension. Some of the behavioral risk factors include unhealthy diet, tobacco use, physical inactivity, and harmful use of alcohol. So people who are eating a lot of these fried foods, uh, these fast foods, you find that they will have a lot of fats in the body, and then the, 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 the fats will clog the blood vessels. But there are also other uh, risk factors, like for example, being overweight. Uh, each person is supposed to have a normal body weight. Anyone can be at risk of hypertension, and some of the signs are headache, palpitation, dizziness, heat in the body, tingling sessions in the body, and pain in the left side of the heart. However, there is little medical awareness to bring the silent killer under control. Some people even actually have died without knowing that it was high blood pressure. Some people die in bed when they are sleeping. Some people wake up and then they suddenly collapse. The Grimm report concludes that hypertension is on the rise in the country. Irene Namialo, NTV.